So the award-winning EGO technology that we're using here at Flashpoint has allowed us to represent war on a scale never before seen. It allows us to take advantage of the multi-core functionality in each of the platforms. Also, the beauty of the system is that it's modular, so as the requirements uh, change, as, as people's expectations change, as, as com competitive games come out and, and up the benchmark, we're able to assess those and, and build that into our cross-platform technology. The Dynamic Shadow system is, uh, has already been developed with an ego, so we, we leveraged that for Flashpoint, but uh, it enabled us to put shadows into the, into the game very early on. And you'll see shadows move, you'll see the sunset and rise, the coloration of the system will change as well. So all the post-processing linked in with the, with the time of day. We use deferred lighting really to gain performance because you can add hundreds of lights into the system and the performance doesn't really drop. In a traditional rendering system you would limit your lights to maybe 8 max, whereas deferred lighting you can easily get over 100. You can really change the mood and look of the, the whole environment. Um, with this entire quite, quite straightforward system. For Operation Flashpoint, our major focus was on the Mission Editor. The Mission Editor is a tool where designers make the war happen. The Mission Editor receives data directly from the game and displays the up-to-date in-game map. As a result, it represents the current state of the game data at all times. We have made the editor as user-friendly as possible. To do this, we created ways of connecting the tool to the game, so you can see certain changes immediately. Uh, one of the good, good things in the tool is that you can change things on the fly uh, without having to uh, go into the game. You can see that just on the top of the effect there. It's changed to be a green colour at the top in the smoke. Uh, you can see here on the uh, right-hand side a large list of parameters. This is just for one of the types of nodes that we've got. All of these give, give the artists uh, more power and more ability to do different things. The coolest part of Flashpoint for me is just the whole scale of the environment and just the amount of fidelity we've got in there over at such a huge area, from the, from the smallest you know, impact to the largest JDAM thousand pound bomb explosion. Some of the things that um, EGO has enabled us to, to stand head and shoulders above the competition on is uh, the level of fidelity we get in our character models, uh, the time of day, uh, atmospheric conditions, and also uh, our streaming technology which allows us to have this huge open world that's at the player's disposal. Well, th there's, a, there's a theory going around that I've deliberately uh, tweaked the game so that whenever I play it, I, I pwn everyone else basically. There's, there's absolutely no truth in this rumour whatsoever. Whatsoever? Whatsoever.